try it on the drill. Let's see what the vibe is. So I've just faced off this uh, shaft a bit more just so I can get an idea of uh, how, we're just, how I'm going to get this in, inside here. Slide in. Just a slot down into there, so we're going to have to see about that. of this kind of done it a bit weird because it's like half half and half I didn't go through I'll have to I'd have to put this in reverse really and then do it from the inside to the outside so this is showing 23.9 call it 23 23.7 23.17 and then the inside of this currently is 23.9 I'd have to boost the inside of this up. It's going to require quite a lot of business. <clears throat> um, one other thing that I also did was I've purchased some larger bearings because I have a feeling that these small ones are not going to be able to handle the speed. That also would entail a larger borehole. Um, but I might leave it for maybe like a, a second version or something because I've got like um, some large aluminium bar stock where I, f I feel that maybe I could make the, the main shaft in one piece as opposed to what I'm making now. So that's something for the for the future because I feel like after I finish making this I will probably make um, a better one um, so let's see we can take we can take this apart and try and bore this to 23 and then see how we're gonna fix this in I don't know whether I could have some bolts going in I don't have anything to weld this I'm thinking 
undo this, bore this to 23.1 or whatever the hole was, and then just go from there and see what the vibe is. Um, screwdriver. Let's see what we got here. silly but this is what I've got to hand so that gives us this in no, I think I remember what I did because the chuck's not big enough I used one of these spindle things to like lock it on maybe two Did I do that? Hmm. Oh, probably I've used the um, the reverse chuck, the reverse chuck, the re reverse jaws. Yes. yes, so that's the interior.
ということで。そこで、私は、Side of one. one side takes one side's already done for the bearing, one isn't so that side isn't done, so it should be this side. This side is we measure 23.6. That could probably get taken down to 23. So we could definitely even even it out, and then I'll I can bore it more. So if I start off with this, there's no harm just to get the thing started. Very touch and go, so already pretty much there actually. It's almost Was further than I thought. Sometime. Very boring, I guess. Let's see. Boring, boring, boring. One 
interesting thing I was thinking is that if I get the adapt plate, I could maybe even swap this larger chuck onto this smaller lathe, and that would kind of solve some issues I had with um, issues I had with lathing this because I had to put some sort of like ring, like I'd screwed like a, a set of rings on the back, and then like kind of fix that on. If I could have just put the whole thing in there, it would just help. Um, so I've got this. Uh, we've got like a carbide boring tip thing. And I've just realised it's going to have to go the other way because I'm not going to have enough room to get in. It's going to go, it's going to have to be pushed up as well. Sketchy Operations 101. feeling I'm not supposed to engage the lead screw whilst it's moving. I feel like slow speed it's okay. Has he gone too far? Let's find out. Nineteen. Nineteen point three. Oh, still got a ways to go. <laughs> a lot. 
actually. Quite a lot. Guess I could start boring more aggressively. Just ate through that. Mm, fair enough. If I can get a shot of that. Mobile cam. Shot of in there. It is just eating through it. Yeah, I completely, completely just ate through that. I probably have done too much. say for this it was 20 23 and then we can try for the two, two mil of this again uh, that was really effective with the lead screw actually It's going to be too much. Let's find out. Very close. We need like a point two of a thing. So let's just do one more like pass, but like a thin one. And we'll see the vibe.
was too much. But... 23.5, Right. Oh, that might actually be okay. How is that? Oh, that was... So, oh, it leaves us with this. So, This goes to show those holes weren't central. It does mean though that maybe the, sc well, the screws don't go in that far, I suppose. I should redo those. Uh, so let's see, what does that leave us with if we go and we try to put the big side in? Okay. Yeah, it does. It does. It does slot in. It does mean that now we can kind of do a sort of test fit. A cloth. Is it in my little rago cloth. So it means that we can now get one bearing on this side. get a bit. I'm not sure that'll be alright. So we've got one on that side. One on this side. Interesting. Clickety click, this is a good sign. And then we're gonna uh -huh. slot that in there. Oh, it's this one that's messing us up. wedged on the, the bit I can't
one tight bearing. Right. So, let's try that again. So, one in from there, like that. Slide in there. Move the big side onto here. Like that. With the other bearing on the other side. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's something. There's drill into here and then put like a grub screw just to kind of hold that in but we are kind of in business now because it's more lined up than it was before <sighs> saying that with that lined up with this this needs to work I mean that's not even it's not even it's just like stepped I need to figure out how I'm gonna curve that no idea um, however, that's promising. Yeah, it's got some, some potential now. Try it on the drill. Just see what the vibe is. We're not going to be very. That's gonna. That's gonna go in. That's probably not a good idea. see how that's gonna probably when it's when it's kind of like in some sort of cone that the air coming out of there is going to be much more because this is not of faffing but it's getting something together I could always shave this down maybe or something and then have the plate be thinner or like I could bore a bit more of a hole into this to like get it to be yeah I'm kind of in favor of making a whole new like central bit with the larger bearing and then I can make this. I'll show you. <clears throat> so I've got this this bar stock. 
So you could imagine I should really make one of, of these with this bar stock and then use the larger bearing on that. It's going to be much more substantial. And I've got some high speed um, stainless or whatever which can then be used to make a new like a new central rod or whatever so I'd have to mill this down and put a screw on it and stuff like that it's complicated Let's see if I can learn how to do it and then do another boring operation through here and then I could have the larger larger axle I don't know I kind of just want to make the smaller one for now and then just see where it goes before I start to make like a, this is the official 2.0 not even there yet I mean the main thing is still going to be um, making an end making like a rotor to go here that's actually it's going to have to be welded to this or something or at least be double like some screws or something I don't know if I could even get it running badly we'll have to see anyway ciao for now